Hello everyone. Welcome to my video of comparison of solution method. Uh, there is a question. Uh, if I go for a load flow solution, so which method I should follow to solve my network? It's very easy. Uh, you got two options. Like uh, either you go for Newton or either you go for Gauss Seidel. And uh, there are lots of pros and cons to select the options. Uh, let's uh, discuss now. Uh, for for if I select a uh, full Newton Raphson, uh, there is an advantage. It is uh, very rapid to converge on well conditioned cases. Uh, but there is a disadvantage, like uh, it is uh, intolerant of data errors and voltages, and there is no indication for cause of converge failure. There must be uh, some difficulty of converging when reactive limits are resistive in that case. Okay, uh, if I go for fixed solution network, uh, yeah, it's very faster as compared to full Newton, and it's possible to reach a tidal tolerance with full Newton. All right, uh, if I go for Gauss Seidel, just on the right tab, uh, there is an advantage for Gauss Seidel, like uh, there's a tolerance of data errors and poor starting voltages and uh, it's uh, it when it fails it fails gently and indicates the area of network with problems uh, but when you have selected a Gauss serial there is a big disadvantage the big disadvantage is very slow to uh, converge and the reason is that uh, when you are increasing the number of uh, buses or you are making a big network the iteration increases as a system size increases so it's very sensitive to accelerate in these factors and uh, solution that cannot handle negative uh, reactances as well so my preference is to go for fixed solve de uh, decouple newton Raphson. it's very fast to converge your network so there are other options in uh, solution options if you see uh, there is a tap adjustment uh, what's what's the difference between the uh, lock taps and stepping the lock tap is uh, you have fixed your uh, tap of your transformer that will never be changed uh, whatever the uh, tap you have given to it it will stay on that tap if i go for stepping it will it will make a uh, tapping and it will adjust the tap as the sizes you have given to that tap uh, but remember when you have select that stepping you should uh, uh, select an auto adjustment in the parameters of the uh, transformers so it's a good thing uh, for area change uh, you can see there is a, a area change control of tile lines you can select that uh, uh, whenever you need uh, area interchange controls and uh, on your right side there is a flat start or there if you select the fa flat start it will start your iteration from zero if you unselect this uh, flat start it will start your iteration from the previous results so it will make your solution in a in a fast pace so uh for a wall limits if you can apply automatically you can apply immediately you can ignore your wall limits uh, uh, whenever you uh, got a blown up case uh, what you, you usually do uh, you ignore that wall limits and uh, track down where you are getting the mismatches then uh, you can easily get uh, solved with your network okay i hope this video will help you a lot because uh, this is a basic information that uh, we should know before we do any simulation in pssd software thank you for watching my video bye bye